Well, it's a massive shot in the arm for downtown Toledo economic development. First told you about a multi-million dollar federal grant last month. The money is being used in part to help modernize roads and utility infrastructure. And tonight we hear more about its generational impact on our city. 13 Action News reporter Lisa Guyton spoke with the city's director of economic development. Joins us live with the story, Lisa. Uh, Lee and Diane, the project has an enormous footprint. It involves dozens of city blocks here in the uptown area of downtown. It also has a focus in the Junction neighborhood. It will involve everything from landscaping to paving streets and replacing water and sewer lines. 38 city blocks in the uptown area of downtown will be part of the massive project. It will stretch from 13th to 21st Street and from Adams to Monroe. Water and sewer lines will be replaced. More than 1,000 trees will be planted and nearly 200 LED lights will be installed. The key focus is uptown and improving the infrastructure so that we can support the private development and the new companies that will come here. Brandon Selhorst is the director of economic development for the city of Toledo. He calls this a generational investment. Bigger than just the infrastructure is all of the things that are going to happen as a part of this project, right? Creating new opportunities for innovation within our community. A big part of the project cost is being covered by a federal grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. It's called a RAISE grant, which stands for Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity. And it was a first for Toledo. So this is the largest competitive grant that the city of Toledo has ever been awarded. Um, this grant will provide approximately 40% of the total project cost. In addition to Uptown, a focus will be on the Junction neighborhood. This grant is all about people. We are trying to connect people um, who unfortunately have experienced disinvestment in their neighborhoods for decades um, to the opportunities that we're focused on creating here in Uptown. Selhorse says the construction of I-75 decades ago separated the Junction neighborhood from Uptown. This project will include updates to the Door Street overpass. The infrastructure improvements that you'll see are softening that streetscape, making it easier and safer for pedestrians and bicyclists to uh, cross I-75. And when it comes to the uptown part of this project, a section of the city that's recently been renovated is serving as a model. Our vision for this is that every street in uptown looks as good as Summit Street does, if not better. Now, the project is scheduled to begin in the year 2026 and be finished by 2032 with a total price tag of about $53 million. Lee?